So what we're looking now in the data section um, is we're looking at what kind of data have we got? Have we got good data? Have we got bad data? Have we got data that is biased or data that is representative? So let's think about well, what do these things mean? So here's a little diagram of biased versus unbiased. So if I'm biased, it means I'm, I'm, when I'm targeting, when I'm trying to hit something, I'm slightly to the side of it. I'm not getting it exactly where I want it to be in the middle. Unbiased data means most of the time we're getting the right answer. So if you think about bias in terms of our own opinions, for example, I might say that I'm biased because I love Nike and I don't think Adidas are any good. That would be a biased opinion. And so I'm always going to think that no matter what other people say to me. Okay, it's not, doesn't, it's not true, but that's an example of what bias opinions might be. And it's the same idea with data. We don't want data that is biased. We don't want it to be collected by people who think the same thing we do. We want to get a range of opinions so we get a good understanding of the whole population we're interested in, not just the few, our few friends who might think the same as us. If I think about um, what representative data is, I've got a little picture that I've just put on the side there of what unrepresentative sample looks like. It's a bunch of people that all look the same, that all think the same, that have the same answers. That's not representative because in a country not everybody thinks the same. They don't feel the same, they don't act the same, they don't look the same. So we need a mixture of people. Here's a second graph which is another graph of an unrepresentative sample. We've got some people there, so we've got the people in the light blue and the people in the yellow who they are overrepresented in this sample. Whereas the person in the dark blue is underrepresented. Okay, so this is an unrepresentative sample. We want a reasonable balance of everybody. So here's an example of a representative sample. So we've got all the groups all the different types of opinions, all the different types of ethnicities, different genders, different age groups, all of those things, and we've got quite a good mixture of those. So that's what a representative sample would look like. Now if we've got a representative sample, then we're going to be able to have much stronger conclusions that we can draw about our data. So we want a representative sample, that's an absolute key idea. So here's an example. If I've got a questionnaire and I only look and ask the blue-eyed students, then that means I've got a biased sample. And what that means is I've got lots of information about the people who have blue eyes, but I don't have any information about other people with different coloured eyes. So that means my data doesn't represent the whole population of all people. It only represents the, po po um, the population who have blue eyes. Once we've got our data, and we've looked at it, and hopefully we've got this representative data, then we just need to check and clean up our data if it needs to be cleaned up. So, for example, what do I mean by cleaning the data? Well, sometimes there's going to be mistakes. So, for example, if I ask you, well, what's 2 plus 2? Most of you will give me the correct answer of 4. Some of us may give the wrong answer because we were thinking about something else at the time or weren't sure about it. Okay, so when people ask you a question, you're not always going to give the right answer. So sometimes there's going to be mistakes in the data. Sometimes we're going to have data that's missing. Okay, and you can see there um, the little red arrows on that spreadsheet that's showing data that is missing. So that's the kind of thing that we can have, is we can have these two types and more, but these are the two key ones. And so luckily for us, the program that we're going to use to analyse the data will automatically remove these values for us. If we've got missing data, it will take them out. It won't take out any data there any, if there's mistakes in it, and that's what we just need to do a double check of ourselves.